So if you walk into a Catholic church for mass, you might notice there's lots of statues and candles and all sorts of things all around the walls. And you might be asking, why are those there? And what does this have to do with worshiping Jesus? Many years ago in the church, there arose a movement called iconoclasm, and it was influenced uh, by Christians who had been impacted by uh, Islam and by the rise of Islam and, and the followers of the Prophet Muhammad, who forbade and squashed and crushed iconoclasm, the destruction of icons, any images at all, any images of the saints or of Mary or of Jesus, um, because they said that that was idolatry. And so the church had asked this tough question, can we have images of the saints? Can we have images of Jesus? Can we use those in our worship? Because the church had been using those from the very first days of Christianity. And so the church came back and declared, yes, we can, because all of creation is good that God created everything, that all of it can and should give glory to God. Now, it's important that we recognize that we're not worshiping statues of saints. We're not, we're not thinking that the, the, the statues themselves can hear us. But what they represent is those men and women that have gone before us that are with God in heaven, and they intercede on our behalf. So when you see Catholics burning candles in churches, it's not because we think that those uh, statues themselves are some sort of de deities or that can hear our prayers, but we know that what they represent is the saints in heaven. When we see a, a beautiful statue of Jesus or a beautiful statue of Mary, it reminds us of our loved ones in heaven, Jesus and all those saints who love us and pray for us and lift us up. So when, next time you go to mass, if you see that, recognize that that's not some sort of idolatry, that that is an actual part of Christianity, very important part of Christianity that sets us apart from other religions because we recognize that this created world created good by God can and should give him glory. Hey guys, if you enjoy these videos, thank you. Thank you for watching them. Thank you for sharing them and make sure you subscribe to our channel. So why are there so many graven images in Catholic churches? <laughs> so at mass, why are... <laughs> Have you ever wondered why? So are people worshiping statues at mask? Mask? <laughs> you know when you go to mask?